First of all, we have to discuss what is a muscle. Muscular tissue or muscle is a tissue that have contraction and relaxation ability. So this one is helpful in the movement and it can also show the displacement of the body that means locomotion. So two parts are here. Contraction and another one is relaxation. The term which is related with muscle is actually sar. So the plasma membrane of muscle is called as sarcolema. Protoplasm of muscle is called as sarcoplasm. And various kind of cell organelle like ER, endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle cell is called as sarcoplasmic reticulum. Just like that, we can configure the units of muscular tissue. What are the units? The structural unit of muscular tissue is muscle cell. Structural unit is muscle. While the functional unit is sarcomere. Sarco stands for muscle and mere for the unit. As I told you, this one is helpful in the locomotion and the whole muscular tissue forms the 45% part of our body according to the body weight. The next point is the classification of muscular tissue. Muscles can be configured in various categories on the basis of their controlling ability, on the basis of structure and position. So we can configure them on three ways. The first one is controlling ability. On the basis of controlling ability, muscle can configure in two categories. These are if these are controlled by our will, then called as voluntary muscles and if can't control by our will, then known as involuntary muscles. Well, the second kind is on the basis of their structure. On the basis of structure, we can configure muscle in three categories. The first one is, either the dark and light bands are found, then these are called as striated muscles. And if these kind of dark and light alternate bands are not found, then these are called as non-striated muscles. And the last category is, some, cells, some muscle cells are there, which are intermediate of them, they can show striation somewhere and it may be absent. So that kind of muscles are called as intermediate muscles. And last classification is given on the basis of their position. On the basis of position, these are categorized in three categories. The first one, if they are attached with the skeletal system then called as skeletal muscles. If these are found inside of our body in delicate organs then these are called as visceral muscles. And the last category is if these are found in cardiac wall or heart wall then these are called as cardiac Now I am going to explain the muscles on the basis of their structure. The first category is called as striated muscles. The first feature of the muscle is 
Here the dark and light bands are found and they get arranged in the alternate manner. So you will get dark and light bands alternation. They are arranged in the alternate manner. Along with that, some other features are there like this. These are multinucleated. The next one is, they can control by our will. So these are voluntary in nature. The next one is, their position, these are these are present striated muscles get addicted with our bones and cartilage. So these are usually found attached with our skeletal system. So all the skeletal muscles are the example of. Along with that, one more feature is there. These are elongated in nature. Elongated and unbranched. So right now I am going to draw the diagram of that. That's like this. One elongated muscle that having some dark and light bands. As I told you, these bands are formed in the ordinary manner. And as I told you, it's a multinucleated structure. So more than one nuclei are, they may be present where, where dark bands are found, they may be present where light bands are found, so don't get confused here. So these yellow dot indicating two nucleus, while these pink bands are exactly dark bands, while these While the white alteration here that's indicating to the while the zone where color is absent is indicating to the light band. So you can write this one is light. Okay, here you can see while this green line is sarcolima. And a fluid is also filled here. This dot fluid, this is sarcoplasm. So, as I told you, dark and light bands alteration is found. The dark band, that later on the light band, dark band, and then on light band. Again. This one is multinucleated, so many nuclei are found here. These are voluntary in nature, that means controlled by our will. These are elongated as the shape reveals to you and unbranched also. All kind of skeletal muscles are striated muscles. Now the second kind of muscle is visceral muscles. Now the feature of visceral muscles. The first one is these are non striated That means dark and light bands are not from. Well, the next feature is these are uninucleated. These cannot control by our will, so these are involuntary in nature. The next feature is these are spindle shaped. An example of that kind of muscles are, these are found in delicate organs, so these are called as visceral muscles, visceral means internal organs, so this one can found in throughout the elementary canal. It's also found in our urinary tract, just like that. It's also found in our respiratory tract. Because striations are not found here, so these are also known as smooth muscles. So one more name is there, along with the non-striated muscles, visceral muscle, you can say these are smooth muscles. Due to the absence of strike. Okay, now I am going to draw the diagram of this. This one is just like that, one spindle shaped muscle. 
which contains a single nuclei and it's without strife, just like this. This covering is indicating to sarcolemma. This fluid indicating to sarcoplast. And the last part, this yellow dot indicating to the nuclei of the cell. Now the third kind of muscles which are actually intermediate muscles. This one is a muscle which is with striation and without striation. You can say uh, actually this, this one is elongated and branched. So where the elongation is found, there bands are found while in the branching bands are actually absent. So these are intermediate, you can say striated. Where elongation is found and non striated also, where branching is found. The next feature is its uninucleated. The next one, these are involuntary in nature, so cannot control by our will. Another feature is these are found in the cardiac wall, so also known as cardiac muscle. So you can write the example of this, this one is cardiac muscle. One more and very important feature of this, in between the junction point or you can say at the branching point, intercalated discs are formed. This is another very important feature of the intercalated discs are present. So right now I am going to draw the diagram of intermediate muscles. These are almost like this, elongated, somewhere get branched. And in the branching, usually there are no striation. This one is just like this. This is the dark band. Again, the dark band. This is. Sarcolima, while the fluid contained is sarcoplast. These green bands are actually the dark bands, while where the color is absent or use the part which is present in between two dark bands, this is light band. While these dots are indicating to nucleus. And one more thing, the junction point between two muscles, these, this one indicating to enter. So this one is over about the muscular system.